I'm Kate Hebert, I'm the curator at the American Museum and Gardens. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this year's exhibition, Night and Day, 1930s Fashion and Photographs. The exhibition is a display of outfits from the 1930s. As the American Museum, we've put our own twist on it and brought in photographs of Hollywood icons that inspired some of those fashions that you see on display. Our outfits are displayed through a variety of scenes around the main exhibition gallery and is split between nightwear and daywear. As visitors enter the gallery, they're greeted by a really iconic 1930s scene. Visitors are then encouraged to follow the red carpet around to our largest scene, which is a nightclub. And they might be surprised at the range of different colours and patterns even on some of the dresses. The beauty of those outfits is you start to see some of those lovely 1930s details, the little diamante brooches and clips that were used to really decorate those pieces. I'm particularly fond of our black and white street scene and for me that's almost like watching uh, Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers movie and I can imagine the mannequins that are wearing some of those gowns just spring to life and bounce across the gallery dancing to some of that really iconic music of the 1930s. One of the things that I love about the exhibition is that so many of the outfits that are on display could actually be in a high street now and you could just go out and wear. So one of my favourite pieces is an early velvet drop waist dress from the beginning of the decade. In our smaller gallery, we have our outdoor scenes. I think the garden party scene is probably one of the more surprising sets of outfits that aren't necessarily what people would think of immediately when they think of 1930s clothes. You can certainly imagine floating around with a cocktail or two in your hand wearing one of those. With the photographic display, we tried to highlight some of the starlets that, although were big names in the 1930s, perhaps have fallen out of familiarity with people. In addition to the photographs, there are some magazines from the time that show some of those Hollywood stars and also some of the fashion designers and the creations that they made, as well as a rather terrifying way to perm your hair. As you look around the outfits that we have on display, particularly in the nightclub scene and the black and white street scene, you see a lot of bias cut gowns that were clearly influenced by dresses that were being worn by starlets of the day, by people like Catherine Hepburn, Betty Davis, and those really big iconic names. What the exhibition really showcases is the way in which fashion and arts of the 1930s really responded to the Great Depression. And that's why Hollywood movies are focusing on that kind of escapist, glamorous side of things. And that's reflected in the clothes of the period. We've created kind of a sense of that escapism within the gallery. We're using music from the era, the way the clothes are displayed through different scenes will just help take people away to another place and just kind of live in a little bit of a glamorous escapist bubble for a short time.